Hey guys, I've had a few people ask me some questions about the Pixel Pusher I recently built, the uh, Pixel Pusher 5002, which was based off of two earlier designs, uh, one last year by Eric Becker, the Pixel Pusher 5000, and uh, Vinny Bittinger's uh, Pixel Pusher 5001 that he uh, built earlier this year. And so I took some elements of both of those designs to make this one. And so I just want to go over kind of the few things on it that I did. Um, Thus far, I've pushed probably close to 4,500 pixels, something about in, in that range, and it's worked perfectly. And I designed this to work with both bullets and square notes. Uh, right now, I'm doing bullets out of my mega tree, and uh, down the line, probably next year, I'll have some square notes for it. But I designed it to work with both. So, kind of going off. Uh, Eric's original design, and that one is one you can find on the official x Lights support group. If you search for the Pixel Pusher 5000, you'll see uh, his design and various uh, posts he made on that. And uh, Vinny's is on the Think Tank group in there. But So going to the foot pedal, this is just the foot pedal that was on Eric's design. It's a uh, has three ports in the back. Love my messy workspace, but air comes in on that lower one, and you have two ports, um, depending on whether the pedal is up or down, that go to the air cylinder. And the air cylinder, obviously, you got two ports, so this top one pushes the piston down, and the bottom one, when you uh, release the pedal, it pushes it back up, and that's worked really well. Um, what I've done on my design is it's for both bullets and square notes. And I have a three-quarter inch plywood deck that sits on top of an inch and a quarter steel frame. The dimensions on this, I just kind of just winged it, but it's 18 inches long and 10 inches wide. And what I have here is a 3D printed base, and this one's the files on Thingiverse. It's uh, one of uh, Tim Big's designs, and I modified it slightly, basically just raising the height supposed to be the right uh, working height for me. So the pixel slides through here and what I did is, if I find a spare bullet pixel, I know I got one somewhere. So if I take a bullet pixel and the way I calculated this is when you set the bullet pixel in, I take my pair of vice grips there and I grip it so that the vice grips are flush with the top of the pixel and it extends out like this and when that piston, when you, or when that plate goes down, it pushes on the pliers. And so I set the height so that it, when it pushed the pixel, it pushed it just enough to go through, all the way through, and not be too much. And so for me, that required making this height here an extra 12 millimeters higher on this. And that was just so I'd have the right uh, pushing force down on it. Um, but other than that, the, the, the design is basically the exact same that's out there. And then for when I do um, square notes, what I will do is I will unscrew this. And you can see it's just, uh, it just threads into the piston um, there. So I'll just unscrew this. And then it will just be the piston that will come down. And I'll take another tray, and I haven't drilled the holes to secure it in here, but it will go directly underneath the piston and the square pixels will just come down and same thing, the piston will press right on the epoxy back of the pixel. And I'll have to do the same thing here and I'll figure out the height. It'll probably be a little higher than 12 millimeters. So, um, but that, that will really be the only change for when I do that. Um, as far as the design on this, I like the clearance I have here, but had I gone with a little bit lower clearance on the vertical here, I wouldn't have to shim these up, um, the pixel jib, jigs quite as high. So, but I think this clearance is fine. I, I don't have a problem with wasting a little more filament and taking a little longer to print uh, when I do this. And when I printed this design, I made it pretty thick. I think I had six walls on it and did it at uh, 50 percent infill so it's a pretty stout piece and I printed or as I said I pushed probably about 4,000 and there's almost no wear on here you see a little bit 
of kind of wear here where the pliers have pressed down on it. But other than that, I mean, this thing works perfectly. And I really wouldn't change anything on this design. Um, what I do, I don't even have it clamped down. I just have one of those kind of uh, kitchen drawer, you know, kind of lining liner pads underneath of here. And that's all it is. That keeps this thing from moving around on me. And that works uh, really well. And that's just the hose comes right off the, uh, there it goes to the compressor. And let's see, I'm running it at about, uh, let's get to focus. It's about 90 PSI is what I'm running off the compressor. Of course, you can adjust the uh, amount of uh, air pressure on the compressor there. Um, I know I think in Eric's design, he has in his parts list, um, it was basically an inline adjustment that you could put anywhere in here and adjust the pressure. I just kind of had what I was working with and it works great. Um, trying to think anything else on this that's, um, I would change. Um, not really. The, the piston or the cylinder here, this one, it, this one happens to be an inch and a quarter bore. Um, it's just what was available on Amazon and that wasn't too expensive. And the prices on these change quite a bit. Um, I paid about $14 for this and about the very next day it went up to like $85. So um, you really got to kind of shop around and uh, you can find the ones that you, you know, that are a decent price if they're in that um, kind of in that range. I think Vinny's first one, he did a three quarter inch bore and he thought it wasn't powerful enough. So I would go probably at least an inch. Um, I did buy a replacement for this in case this one were to break because these are rel these are not repairable ones and uh, that was an inch and a half and that happened to be you know the price went down so I bought it there. Um, these connectors leak quite a bit even though they came with sealant on them so I wrapped it in Teflon tape uh, on here and threaded that in on top of the sealant that was on them and that stopped all the leaks on all the fittings and that's really about it and it's worked very well. Um, only other tip if you're going to be pushing especially um, I guess it probably doesn't matter both bullets and squares you'll have this is untangle your strings first um, that is I guess if you want your strings to be straight or the wiring to be straight and not twisted um, I like mine just to be straight so if you spend the time you know the five minutes or whatever to untangle a string uh, before you start pushing then you can just go one after another through the string and that works really well Anyhow, that's it on the pixel pusher 5002 if you have any other questions, let me know